Patrick. What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lord's mobile video and today guys I'm being rallied and we're also going to be attacking someone and zero in a really nice juicy target so we'll get back to that a little bit later on in the video but right now guys I've got Mr. Sweenster uh, who's set a rally on me. Now the guy in the hive to the left, it's KD, did send a test march at me a little while ago like a mixed T2 march just to see if I had troops and obviously I ate it so they come over about half an hour later and uh, set the rally. So I'm just uh, waiting now to see what this guy's got. Let's take a look at his gear. He's 530 million might. He's got over a billion kills and as you can see the gear, it's full infantry gear and he's got his gold terror chest as well the songstress very nice um it's actually a really nice set and normally you don't go and kind of like sit in front of the target in your actual war gear so the fact that he's sitting there in infantry gear tells me that he's probably going to go range because he wants me to sit in cavalry um and i'm just making sure now with the guild and how i do things of course how do i change gear i mean it's been a while guys I've got to dust off the cobwebs, you know. <laughs> it's been a while since I took rallies. Um, and I certainly didn't expect it within 24 hours. But, I mean, wow. Okay. Let's see what he's got. He's also got that little gold eagle above his cast. So, I believe it's the warden title, right? And it's got HP and attack and stuff. So, he's buffed up. He's got his gear ready. No doubt the range is probably going to be full mythic. Just like that infantry set. So, you know, I know how much that... Well, how hard that gear hits. So... It should definitely be an interesting one. As you can see, we've got people asking if they want to take it instead. And they get the ferret, of course. <laughs> Look at this. R1, R2, and then R2, L2. They're just telling, giving me controls here on how to go ahead and uh, change that gear. You know, up, down, up, down. Different buttons on the keyboard here. I'm just, I'm just working it out, guys. You know, just getting, <laughs> just getting back into it. Now, of course, your boy knows how to change gear and how to take a rally. Um, but I did still make mistakes. Uh, I did. I kind of made one little mistake. It's not a biggie, but the mistake I'd done meant no more rallies were coming after this. I probably could have, probably, I would have said, yeah, I'd say probably could have like enticed a second rally being set if I hadn't done what I'd done. Um, but it's just a little schoolboy error, and it was just nerves and the fact that I haven't done it for a couple of months. But still, I still thought it was pretty cool to get a hit. After like, what, within 24 hours of coming back? <laughs> it was pretty sweet to be honest. Anyway, I don't want to keep you waiting too long. So let's dive forward to when this is actually going to be coming at me. So let's jump forward right now. Here we go. So the troops are coming in. You can see the last of their troops coming in. We've got Hamadovich has also come in to join him on this rally. You know, now what I should have done. Let's just get to the, the mistake I, I didn't do. I should have checked the watchtower. Now, what was going through my head is he's going to launch that and speed it in because I'm so used to that from the past. People carpet in from short distance. So I didn't want to take no risks or gambles. But I really should have been checking the watchtower to see what he was actually sending. Now, it's not fake. It's not a complete fake rally. But I really should have not done what I've done. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So you can see the one troops are coming in. They're trying to block the radar, which I've totally forgot about. The troops are coming into Sweenstar. He starts walking. Now, I go ahead and change gear. Okay, fine. But I should have stayed there. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and pulled it. Now, I was expecting to cap him. As you can see, there's no leader there. Did his familiar get it? I don't know. I go back. But of course, they know I'm online now. And look how long it took me to do that gear swap as well. So many little mistakes. But you know what, guys? It's first time back. I'll iron these out. Absolutely. You know I will. Um, but yeah, totally... Not messed up. I kind of guess I did mess up a little bit with that, but I still took it. I still ate it what he sent. That's completely gone. But if we take a look at the report, you can see it was only 1.85 million troops. It didn't make the board, and 1 million was T4 range, and 850,000 was T2 range. So, yeah, it was kind of like a test rally, so to speak. Do people still do those? Do people do test rallies still? I don't know, but obviously they lost T2, they didn't lose no T4, so it was just, it was like a T4, T2 rally, like a tester, so to speak. Um, so yeah, you know, it wasn't nothing amazing, it wasn't an 
oh wow, what a big rally he took. He didn't even have his leader in there, so the gear didn't even come into play. But anyway, check this out. We've got Evia in her research gear, 364 million might, 36 million kills. I did check the stats as well, that like, the castle don't look too much of a threat. And this happened literally straight after that rally hit me. Um, I was like, okay, we're, we're going to be now rallying someone else. Okay, so it's all go, go, go at this point last night. So I go ahead and I send my troops in. Everybody starts sending their troops in. It's actually quite close to the hive. I don't know whether this was a target the guys were watching. All I know is someone said in the guild chat, the shield's down, and everybody went in. So it's like, okay, right. Well, this must be someone these guys have been watching for a while from guild FRG. I must be honest, I've never heard of Guild FRG, they're, they're new to me, I don't know, but I've been out of it for a couple of months, so I don't know if this is a new guild or not, no idea. But we've got this over free, and nearly 400 million might target in research gear, looks like it's offline, these guys are coming in to reinforce, uh, which is good. You know, I like it when you're attacking someone and they're reinforcing, it's good, it, it's, it makes it more interesting, definitely, it's more important for us to counter what they reinforce with. Now we're going to go ahead and send cavalry on our first rally here. Um, so hopefully they put some infantry reinforcements in there. I don't know because I'm not over there at the moment. Um, it should be interesting. I don't know exactly how many troops he's got at this point when we're doing this, but I was told he had a few, so it should be interesting. We're going to jump forward a little bit as the last few reinforcements coming in from afar for the FRG crew here. Um, Podunk will be getting ready to launch shortly after this last one goes in. There we go. He's full of reinforcements. Our rally's full. You know what comes next, guys? It's time to march. Absolutely. Here it comes. So Podunk going in. Will we get the burn on the first hit? I have no idea. Rally traps can be at this size and smaller. Let's see what happens. And... Boom! There we go. That guy's leader goes back from Bubble X. He obviously gave him the leader to get the extra attack boost. And we start walking away. And he is on fire. Nice. So the question is, of course, how much damage did we do? Down to 310 million. And he's still in his research gear. He's offline. He's in La La Land. And we absolutely smashed him on that one. Let's take a look and see how much damage we've done. What did he have in there? Let's have a look. He had 4.2 million, including Reigns, and 1.7 million Red Deads. He had... Did he have full Infirms? I don't know. Oh my god. That's a really nice hit for the first one. And he had Familiars. The HP boost, the Range boost, and the Stun one, I think that is. Temper Sight at the end, if memory serves me correct. They reinforced with Infantry. 1 million Infantry. We hit him with the Cavs, so we completely countered him, wiped out all of the infantry and all of the cavalry on that hit that was an absolute beast of a hit which means he is just going to be left with range about 600,000 t4 plus the rest of his t3 and t2 now a t4 infantry solo would be beautiful at this point but the problem we have is these guys also know that he just has range left. So they're expecting an attack from infantry. So guaranteed, these guys are going to go ahead and reinforce with cavalry. And I would expect probably a million of them T4 cavalry to be sitting in there to try and deflect any kind of like T4 infantry solos. So we have to set another rally to give this guy another five minutes to try and get online, I guess. So we go ahead and set the rally, we're going to set range. Now we're definitely not going to go infantry because we don't want to chuck over 2 million infantry into a million T4 cavalry. Albeit he is in his research gear and probably in research talents. So, you know, I mean, even if we did hit that with the infantry, it probably ain't going to be too bad for us. But we're going to go range because if there is the cavalry in there that we suspect, we're going to wipe out all that cavalry like a hot knife going through butter <laughs> and then we're going to absolutely smash the you know the range on range that'll be absolutely fine so guys as we continue to load up for our second rally on this target let's jump forward uh, once again so i'm not wasting too much of your time here let's go 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 here we go now those arrows coming in guys those are scouts from other people who are nosy to see what we've got in here but it's not going to be um well they're not going to get there in time because our rally's going to be going any moment now and here it comes. Okay, Podunk coming in for the second one. Sky Rage coming in behind him to try and get up the uh, scraps that are left behind just in case any siege or anything like that. And Podunk goes in and ba -ba -ba boom. There we go. We knew that was going to be a burn. The question is, of course, did we get the cap on the rally or did Sky Rage get it after he went in? I don't know. Down to 282 million might. He's still in that research gear, which means he's still asleep. <laughs> I bet his phone's going crazy right now. 
Going into the actual report, you can see another 1.3 million Red Deads and 15,000 for us. Of course, there was that 1 million reinforcements in there, 64 million might total destroyed. And let's have a look and see what they reinforced with. Cavalry! <laughs> of course, guys, they, they reinforced with Cavalry, that's kind of what we expected. And the range just done the job there. Wiped him out completely, he's zeroed on that rally, so Podunk got the leader, which is awesome stuff. Really, really nice. Not sure about his wall choice there of heroes putting Death Archer on the wall, but there we go. And really, really good job. That million cavalry, like I said, was, was never going to do the job there against that range rally. So really, really good stuff. Nice. You know what? That's a nice that's a nice zero. Two rallies, two counters on the, on the reinforcements, and uh, he was out of there. Obviously, it makes a big difference if you don't counter those reins. But yeah, we've done a great job there of two rallies countering the reins on both times. And then a few minutes later... Oh no, <laughs> it always happens a few minutes after you zero him, I don't know why, but he came on and he put his shield up, so there we go. Anyway guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want more content like this, and until next time, stay safe everybody, and peace out.